Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. And today in this video, we're going to be installing Redis on our Ubuntu 20.04 machine. Uh, Redis is a memory cache and can also be used as a very quick database. It's a NoSQL structure. And uh, before you install Redis, uh, you need uh, the NLTP command. So you might be knowing about the NLTP command. It allows you to check which all services are consuming which all ports on your uh, machine. So if you don't have it, this is how you do it. sudo apt install net tools all right then the standard procedure sudo apt update this will update all the repositories on your machine and uh, now the command to install uh, uh, redis server is quite easy okay so all you have to do is sudo apt install redis server but the steps after that are quite important so sudo nano uh, slash etc slash redis slash redis dot conf this is the configuration file which will reside in your etc folder uh, on your ubuntu machine in the redis folder the redis configuration file you press enter control you th this is where you press control plus w and you search for supervised okay uh, in your machine uh, it will have a hash here so you have to remove the hash okay and uh, supervised will be no this will uh, instead of system d it will be no so you remove no and you write system d and then you press control x to save it and then you press y for uh, yes okay to save it all right and to ex uh, save and exit uh, once you've made this change uh, all you have to do is you have to restart this service system cdl restart redis dot service so that you can restart the redis service okay uh, and now you check now you check the redis status as you can see on my laptop it's running it's active you pre press ctrl c and uh, as you can see there are a lot of commands uh, that i've written on the right side i will be posting these commands in the description box below so that you have access to them okay and then uh, since uh, since I know that it's active now, all you have to, all I have to do is I'll have to uh, Redis CLI to open the Redis CLI. Okay, and you can see it's uh, it's uh, you know binded to my uh, local host at uh, six three seven nine port. Okay, and uh, if I do ping, it'll say pong. This means that Redis is working perfectly. And uh, now let's try out another command: set test, and I can say hello. This is a Redis command to set the value of test. Okay. It says okay. Now if I say get test, it'll say hello. Okay. Now to check whether uh, Redis is actually working, it's access ac accessing your memory. You do exit, then you do sudo systemctl restart Redis to show that even after restarting, everything will work perfectly fine. This is what you need to check. So you go to the Redis CLI again. And then you get test if it shows hello then everything is working smoothly and perfectly on your laptop all right so you exit this here back to your terminal okay and uh, now uh, there's one more thing that you can do on your laptop okay so sudo nano slash etc slash redis slash redis dot configuration and you search for bind so this uh, this will bind the redis uh, to uh, your local host address and you can reduce the hash here okay to uncomment it then you save it okay then you save it and by con pressing ctrl x i press ctrl x in the last uh, command and then i saved it all right uh, by pressing y which is the yes command and now you restart it again sudo system serial restart redis okay so i can check the status again system serial status redis and uh, now uh, i ch i'll check what port uh, redis is running on netstat minus lnp grep redis so it'll tell me that Redis is using 107.0.0.16379 port. All right, so everything is working fine. And here you can see that 
this double colon one double uh, semi uh, single colon 6379 this is uh, the binding uh, on this address which we just did uh, when we removed the hash from uh, the comments uh, from the configuration file okay so this means that everything is working fine on your laptop redis is working perfectly now there are some additional steps that you can go through if you wanted to uh, i am going to be using redis uh, on my laptop only this is not a server this is a laptop where i am going to be using it for development purposes but if you are going uh, live uh, and if you're going to production uh, there is something that you need to do okay so here's there's an article on digital ocean uh, for uh, installing redis on 18.04 you can ignore the part till till uh, the step 4 uh, i think even step 4 you can ignore but the step 5 is slightly important so uh, if you don't want uh, you know people to run dangerous commands dangerous commands like you know the flush all which basically flushes the entire database uh then then uh, or or rename which uh, by by which somebody can rename your entire database uh, you know all the, all the keys in your database so if you don't want people to be running those dangerous commands on the production server then you can follow the step 5 where you rename everything in the configuration file it's very very easy and uh, and then you will be good to go okay since i need to use these commands i can't do that on my laptop right now but you can do that on the production machine uh so i hope uh, I hope you were able to follow through and uh, thanks a lot for watching thank you